Hello and welcome to another exciting video of Disorders Care. Today we are going to talk about caffeine and its effects on ADHD. Well, let's get started. To understand how caffeine affects our brain system, we first need to understand how our mind works. Our brain uses mainly four chemicals to send signals. These brain chemicals, known more formally as neurotransmitters, are remarkably complex things that we are only just beginning to understand. We do know they are related to emotional balance and even have learned that some of them can be boosted a little through fairly simple efforts. The four chemicals are serotonin, dopamine, endorphins, oxytocin. Now, caffeine is found in coffee, tea and chocolate to name a few and it's one of the world's favorite drugs. But what impact does it have on your brain? The right amount of caffeine can help you focus, but too much might make you jittery, anxious or irritable. Because caffeine is so prevalent, it's important to know how it affects individuals with ADHD. Stimulating the body Dopamine controls the ability to focus and maintain concentration. It's linked to pleasure, attention and movement and caffeine is considered a stimulant. It stimulates the body's central nervous system and boosts the brain's production of dopamine. This stimulation can cause a person to feel energized and not to feel the effects of fatigue as strongly. Caffeine affects each individual differently. While most experts deem moderate consumption of this natural stimulant safe, too much caffeine may result in side effects that range from nervousness, anxiety, rapid heartbeat and upset stomach to restlessness, migraines, sleeplessness, and muscle tremors. In addition to alertness and increased focus, caffeine may help weaken headaches, boost memory, and even ward off certain diseases, including cancers, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. Though caffeine has its perks and benefits, but improper or excessive use can have side effects. As we have discussed this earlier, sometimes the effect can be negative. However, for example, people who have trouble sleeping can experience further sleep disturbances or insomnia due to caffeine. Some scientists think caffeine has potential as ADHD treatment because of its effect on dopamine levels, which improved memory and attention in rats. In another study, when hyperactive rats were given caffeine before they went through a maze, they got better at it. This suggests caffeine can improve spatial learning. While these studies are interesting, rats are not people. The downside More than 400 mg of caffeine is more likely to cause problems including migraine headaches, insomnia, irritability, upset stomach. For children Experts do not recommend giving caffeine to children, especially if they are taking prescription medication for ADHD. Kids may be more vulnerable to the side effects of caffeine and it's possible that it can affect brain development in growing children. While an older study found that high doses of caffeine, 600 mg, every day helped to control hyperactivity symptoms in children, there were many side effects. Kids with ADHD generally have more sleep problems and have trouble staying alert during the day. Caffeine can disrupt sleep, which could make these issues worse. Now. You might be asking, is it right for you? Well, caffeine like ADHD medications may affect one person differently than another. So talk to your doctor before you start to use caffeine to help your symptoms. If you are taking a prescription stimulant, also taking caffeine could cause more or worse side effects. Well, this is it from us.